Recently, I got my hands on the final archetype that was hidden behind one of the best kept secrets in this game. Now, the title of this video shouldn't really scare you because I do plan on making more content eventually with Remnant 2, but as of right now, I'm content with what I've made so far. When Remnant 2 inevitably makes a DLC or a new game mode, that will most likely bring me back. Now, with that being said, I'm feeling some extreme burnout and honestly, a little let down. I had been working on a couple build videos for the past two weeks but I was struggling on some of the choices I was making with rings and amulets and making decisions on what would be easier to find versus overall viability. I was getting really stressed out as I was trying to make some of my other content and more and more content creators were already making far better builds than I was planning on. So needless to say I've scrapped all of that because I really wasn't into the idea of making that type of video. And honestly I'd rather keep my focus on what my channel revolves around and that is talking about games that I love and the fun that I have with them. There is something however I want to talk about with Remnant 2 and why it has changed how I look at development within game design and mechanics. Remnant 2's development team over at Gunfire Games has rekindled something I haven't felt since my childhood. The ideas of keeping a secret and obtaining knowledge that the common player wouldn't really know about. I love the idea of hiding things in plain sight, but also keeping things a mystery. Now if you're not familiar with what I'm even talking about or what the secret that you're actually seeing on screen is. I do recommend watching Remnant 2 and the Cult of the Door by Azura. Azura has made a great breakdown of the community's efforts on unlocking this secret, and it was mind-boggling to watch the lengths that these incredible gamers went to to unlocking one of the best kept secrets I've ever seen in a video game. While I don't expect other secrets to come out anytime soon, my expectations for the future of Remnant and even other titles is growing with curiosity. I really hope developers are making notes on how to create a once in a lifetime experience like Gunfire Games has done with Remnant 2. Ahead of making this video, I do have a couple ideas of what I'd like to jump to next. I do plan on revisiting some games that I've talked about in the past because of updates or content drops that have released recently. And I also wanted to share with a lot of my new subscribers that I avidly talk on my community tab on YouTube. So if you want to chat with me directly, my posts are always open, and I'd love to discuss what you guys would like to see me talk about next. My content on this channel mainly focuses on games that I truly enjoy and have fun playing. I try to review games once in a while that I believe deserve to be shown in the spotlight, and I do try to always make it a positive experience. So if you're up for keeping the good vibes going, welcome to my channel. And I really hope you have a wonderful rest of your day going forward. My name is Zen, thank you all for keeping me motivated, and I really hope to see you in the next one. I'll talk to you soon.